introduction of the topic first. One view of language and gender is their relationship is in which we take gender as something given, something fixed, fixed by birth. We are either born men or women. And uh, the other view is that society, not individuals, defines their gender and gender roles and norms, norms of uh, dress, norms of talk, norms of dealing with others in society at home, and uh, choice of professions, and uh, whether one would have power over the other. Agency means that a person can be in the role of agent. Agent is called that entity which has power, which can control others. So one view is that gender is given. The other view is that society defines gender. Another view is in this, this time, the view comes from sociocultural anthropology. Anthropology is the study of human society. It can be divided into two main, main subfields, you can say. One is social anthropology or socio-cultural anthropology. It studies an entire range of cultures and societies in the world, including Western, non-Western, or even primitive society. On the other side is sociology. Sociology studies only cultures and societies which belong to the West. Only Western societies and cultures are its focus. So the difference between social anthropology or socio-cultural anthropology, sometimes we call it, and sociology is just of range, range of study. Socio-cultural anthropology has wider range than sociology. We are not dealing with here physical anthropology that uh, studies human societies with reference to evolution, evolution of human beings uh, on this earth. So this view that uh, uh, we are going to discuss now has been offered by sociocultural anthropologists and uh, uh, he is Vygotsky. Vygotsky is a psychologist and uh, his views are also relevant with anthropology. How his views, being a psychologist, a Russian psychologist, uh, are related with anthropology, uh, we will see it now. He says that it is not society, rather our activities, our actions in society, they define what will be our gender. So he relates gender with action, or you can say, according to Vygotsky uh, and sociocultural point of view, and gender is a social action. So this is totally a different point of view from all the previous thing, uh, points of views which we have discussed so far. And uh, for him, as I said, he uh, takes it as social action or activities. He, he says that gender is our activity, our performance in society. And from this, sometimes this point of view is also known as performative theory of gender. A person is not seen in this point of view. 
a person is not seen as male or female rather seen as teacher army officer cameraman producer engineer regardless whether he or she is man or woman so here biological sex does not define our gender rather our activities our actions our involvement in different domains of life they define who we are what is our gender so in this way gender is purely a cultural category it is not a biological category a natural category that's why we use two terms in this course one is natural gender if you remember the beginning modules we defined different concepts regarding the course where we defined natural gender in terms of sex male and female and there was another term cultural gender this is how society in culture define gender so here we have introduced another point of view that doesn't come from feminist language that doesn't come from socio linguist but it comes from socio cultural anthropologist especially from vygotsky who says that gender is not something given gender is assigned by our activities 